What's up YouTube, Wired Zero here. How to set up your own personal cloud from start to finish. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up your own personal cloud using any desktop computer you own. The end result giving you the ability to sync all your devices including your iPad, iPhone, Android, laptops, etc. to your own personal cloud. I will be using my main desktop which is running Linux Mint 17.2 with the Cinnamon desktop. However, you can use any Windows or Mac OS to achieve the same outcome. I'll be using the following to create this new cloud. VirtualBox, Ubuntu 14.04 server, and OwnCloud. All the details on how to achieve this will be in the description below. All right, the first thing we wanna do is download VirtualBox. So let's head over in your browser to www.virtualbox.org. Okay, VirtualBox is going to give us the ability to install a guest operating system within our own operating system. All right, so let's go ahead and click on the download VirtualBox image right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to choose the version we need for our operating system. So if you're on Windows, we're going to click here. If you're on Mac, we're going to click here. If you're on Linux, we're going to click here. So let's go ahead and get that download started. All right, while that's downloading, let's head over to releases.ubuntu.com forward slash 14.04. This is the server operating system we're gonna install in VirtualBox that's gonna allow us to create our personal cloud. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down and we're gonna look for Ubuntu 14.04.4-server-i386.iso. We'll be using the 32-bit version of Ubuntu for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and click on that and get that download started. All right, now that our downloads are complete, let's go ahead and install VirtualBox. I'm gonna be installing VirtualBox on a Windows 10 OS for this section of the tutorial. So whatever OS you're using, let's go ahead and locate our VirtualBox executable. In my case, I'm using Windows 10 here. Not my favorite operating system by far, but let's go ahead and install VirtualBox. So welcome to the Oracle VM VirtualBox 5.0.22 Setup Wizard. So let's go ahead and click Next. Here we can just click Next. The defaults are fine. Warning network interfaces. So this is basically just gonna reset the network of this OS. Let's go ahead and select Yes. Install. And now we are installing VirtualBox. Oracle VM VirtualBox installation is complete. All right, let's go ahead and click Finish. I'm gonna jump back over to my Linux desktop to go through the install of Ubuntu Server. I'll be right back. All right, now that we got VirtualBox installed, let's go ahead and open it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go and click on New. Give it a name. I'm gonna call it Ubuntu Server 10. And I'm gonna change the version to 32-bit and click next. I'm gonna leave the default settings here at 768. That's 768 megabytes of RAM. For this tutorial, that's all I need. You can change this to whatever you have regarding how much memory you have. All right, click next. I'm gonna create a virtual hard disk now. I'm going to leave it at VDI, Virtual Box Disk Image. And I'm going to set it at Dynamically Allocated. This is the amount of hard drive space you're allocating to this guest operating system. I'm going to leave this one set on 8. Depending on how much hard drive space you have, you can modify this number. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. Now that we have it created, I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and choose Settings. There's a couple things I want to change in here. Okay, so the first thing I want to change is I want to change the storage. So we're going to click on storage and then click on empty. This is where we're going to mount the ISO that we downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and choose the ISO image. So now we're going to locate that download that you downloaded from Ubuntu, which is going to be the Ubuntu 14.04.4 server-i386.iso. So let's go ahead and choose that. Now let's go ahead and go down to audio. We can disable this, we don't need it. 
Let's go down to network. Now what we're gonna do is change attach to NAT and we're gonna change that to bridge the adapter. Okay, that pretty much will do it, so we'll hit okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on it and click start. Okay, we want English. Gonna go ahead and install Ubuntu server, so go ahead and hit enter. Now we're going through the install of our Ubuntu server. I'm gonna go ahead and click enter for English. United States, if you're in the United States. I'm gonna select no here. I'm gonna go ahead and enter again for English. Again, enter for English. All right, now we have initiated our operating system install. All right, for our host name, I'm just gonna call this the cloud. Hit tab, hit enter for continue. All right, I'm gonna call this wired cloud. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a password. It can be anything you want. I don't wanna encrypt our home directory, so I'm just gonna select now. Yes, for New York. I'm not really in New York. I'm gonna go through the defaults here. So I'm gonna use the guided use entire disk. Go ahead and hit enter. Use the left arrow key to position it on yes and hit enter. Tab and then hit enter for continue. Left arrow, yes, to right changes to disk. I'm doing these videos after work, so I don't really have much time to do them, but I try to get them in. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all my subscribers. I hope this helps everyone out or, you know, you got interested in it. If you got any ideas, let me know. I'll do it. Tesla 2, using a uh, 0.2 ohm parallel build coil, if anybody's wondering. In my uh, India uh, scammer video, apparently there were some people interested in what I was using. That's what I'm using. With a Twisted Messes clone. Works fantastic. Okay, I'm not using an HTT proxy so just hit tab over to continue I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, no automatic updates for now just hit enter all right now here what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose what we need to install with this OS so we want open SSH server so we can actually log in through a terminal and control this guest operating system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit space to select it, and we're gonna hit the down arrow and choose LAMP server, okay, for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. That's pretty much all we need for this cloud server we're creating. So now we're gonna tab down to continue and hit enter. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna set up a password for MySQL, so go ahead and put a password in. Hit enter, hit continue by pressing enter. Repeat it. And we continue our installation. Right now I'm using the, uh, the cut wood unicorn milk I get from uh, Naples Vapor. I highly suggest. Great vape store.
yes, we want to install the Grub Boot Loader. So let's go ahead and, and hit enter for yes. Installation is complete. So let's go ahead and reboot by hitting enter. All right, now that we're booted back up, let's go ahead and log into our brand new install of Ubuntu server. So let's go ahead and log in with the username we created during the install. In my case, it's gonna be wired cloud and then my password. I'm gonna go ahead and type in clear to clear out this terminal window. The first thing I wanna do here is find out what the IP address is of this Ubuntu server we just installed. And to do that, I'm gonna type if config. And we'll notice that my IP address is 192.168.0.29. All right, now to verify that Apache has been installed correctly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the right control just to leave this terminal window. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up a browser window in my host operating system. I'm gonna go ahead and type in 192.168.0.29. You would type in the IP address that was shown to you. Now we have Apache installed correctly. So now we're ready to install OwnCloud. All right, this part of the video only applies to Windows users. What I like to do is SSH into a server to be able to configure it and set it up. So for you Windows users, um, in my case here, I'm gonna be using a Windows 10 install again. And we're gonna go ahead and search for PuTTY download. This is gonna be our SSH client that we're gonna to use to log into the server, the Ubuntu server that we created. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the second link here, PuTTY download page, GARC homepage. And we're gonna go ahead and download the PuTTY client. So let's go ahead and click on the PuTTY.exe and download that. Okay, now that that's downloaded, let's go ahead and open it. Now what we're gonna do, Windows users only, we're gonna type in the IP address of our Ubuntu server on our local network. So in my case, it was 192.168.0.29, okay, using port 22. So let's go ahead and open that. Login as, and we'll provide our password. Okay, so this is how we'll be working on the Windows platform. I'm gonna jump back over to my Linux desktop to complete this tutorial and continue installing OwnCloud. But for you Windows users, that's how this is gonna be done. All right, let's go ahead and install OwnCloud. For you Windows users, you're gonna keep using the PuTTY SSH client. For the Mac users and Linux users out there, let's go ahead and open up a terminal window. What we're gonna type in is SSH space, the username, in my case it's wired, cloud, at, and then the IP address of my Ubuntu server on my virtual box. In my case is 192.168.0.29. And let's go ahead and put our password in that we created during the install. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this terminal window by typing clear. And we're gonna go ahead and type in or copy and paste, again, I'm gonna have all this in the description below, the following. All right, the next thing we're gonna copy and paste or type in is sudo space app dash key add release kit. Now let's go ahead and put our password in. All right, now let's go ahead and add a repository. So let's go ahead and type in or copy and paste the following. Now let's go ahead and do a sudo apt dash get update. All right, now we're ready to install OwnCloud. So go ahead and type in or copy and paste sudo space app dash get install OwnCloud. All right, now we have OwnCloud installed. So let's go ahead and open up 
a browser window in your operating system, your host operating system. So let's go ahead and type in the IP address of our Ubuntu server, which in my case is 192.168.0.29, and then we're gonna put forward slash own cloud. You're gonna be presented with a create a username and password. So go ahead and create that and hit enter to log in. You have successfully created your own personal cloud.